<clears throat> first, my name's Leonard Black, and I was assigned to Chamblay on June the 1st, 1955. I'd been in England for three years and asked for consecutive tours, and uh, I didn't know where Chamblay was. It wasn't in the Air Force books anywhere, so I had uh, uh, an address, and I wrote, and I said, where are you located? And they told me. And so I got there on June the 1st, 1955, and I was signed as the Air Base Sergeant Major, and I had uh, worked for Colonel John Stokes. He was a full colonel. And uh, I did personnel and administrative work uh, for a number of years in the Army Air Corps and the Air Force. <clears throat> and so uh, I would take care of the correspondence and everything, and after about 10 days, Colonel Stoke called me and he says, don't we get any distribution anymore? I says, yes. Well, why am I getting it? I says, I send you what I feel that you should have. And he gave me a long story about he had some people working for him before that wasn't qualified and got him in a little trouble and he wanted to see everything. So I sent him everything. So that was the first time that I'd have a work for a colonel that... Uh, didn't trust anyone. But uh, I like Colonel Stokes. Later on, he left and went to 12th Air Force up at Ramstein. And Colonel Lynch came in. And Colonel Lynch was a, uh, uh, Colonel Stokes didn't fly at that time, but Colonel Lynch was a pilot and he flew to jets. And he was a good person to work for. And I stayed there until uh, 19th of December, 1957. It was when de Gaulle run this out of uh, uh, Europe at that time. One of the unique things I remember is uh, President Eisenhower wrote, uh, I don't know what he wrote, but his comment to de General de Gaulle, do you want us to take all those up at, uh, in the uh, cemeteries? And that sort of quieted down uh, them about us taking everything out. <clears throat> and uh, while I was there, I had two children. They went to school, and uh, one of them's teacher sitting here now. She's over there. Uh, she taught my oldest daughter for the three years we were there and uh, did a good job, and I enjoyed my stay with the 21st. Uh, I don't know what it is about France, uh, I uh, still have connections to France because my youngest daughter was born there, but she didn't declare her dual citizenship when she turned 21. So I do have a lot of feelings for that. One other thing at Chamblay, uh, while I was there in 56, uh, we had a uh, unique situation in there that I don't think there was any Masonic uh, organizations on the air bases in France. And at Chamblay, we, uh, there was organ I didn't do it, but uh, it was organized uh, uh, a lodge, a Masonic lodge, Lafayette 51. Mm -hmm. I'm still a life member of it. I became a Mason while I was there. And I think that was unique to, the first time there was a Masonic Lodge organized on a base, and it had to be with the 21st Fighter Bomber Wing. So uh, that's unique in itself. Uh, other than that, <clears throat> uh, I stayed on, I was in the Air Force for 25 years, Army Air Corps and the uh, uh, regular USAF, and I enjoyed my stay. And uh, other than I spent 13 years and so over in Europe, France, Germany, Belgium, England. So well, I'm pretty well uh, in, in on Europe. I like Europe. I still go back about every other year on vacation somewhere over there. But my last four years was with the Air Commandos that trained for uh, uh, special duty in Vietnam and around. And uh, I was a sergeant major of the Air Commandos in Louisiana, uh, first Air Commando wing. And that's about my tour. 
When uh, when was that? Uh, like 68, 69, 70? Uh, it was from September 66, and, uh, Labor Day is September 66 until uh, 31st of January 70. I was drafted in April 45. I had 18 weeks of infantry replacement, in other words, 18 weeks of infantry training, and we were getting ready to go overseas at that time, and uh, Truman dropped the atomic bomb. And instead of me going to Europe, I mean to South Pacific, uh, they stopped us and uh, they said, we need some troops, occupation troops in Europe. Anybody want to volunteer? So I volunteered and went to Europe and uh, ended up in, uh, 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 first went to France and Belgium, and then ended up near Nuremberg in a little town called Erlangen, E-R-L-A-N-G-E-R. It's a little university, medical university mm -hmm. town. And that was in, I got down from, I think, January of 46. And one of the unique things there, I did go to the Nuremberg war crime trials in June 46. At that time, they had uh, uh, Von, uh, oh, what was his name? He was on trial. And that was unique, and they hung him in uh, October of 46, along with uh, uh, a lot of the others. This was the initial war crime trials. And then I was uh, signed down. Uh, the Ninth Air Force later disbanded, Ninth Air Force Service Command. And I was signed to down to Munich uh, at a little uh, place called Oberwiesenfeld. That was where the 72 Olympics was held there in Munich. And I, it was a hotel we lived in. I lived on the third floor, worked on the second, and Ed on the first. So it was a wonderful time there. But when I got ready to come back home in late 48, the Berlin airlift was on. And you know what they do today? They extend you. They extended us back then. So, uh, uh,